friends, Teacher Rachel here today, and this week we are working on the letter T. So T is, um, you put your thumb between your first and your second finger, and like that, so T. And so this project is going to be a tree, which tree is like this to sign, I don't know if you can see my whole arm. Um, it's like tree, but to spell it, it would be T-R-E-E, -E, tree. So you have gotten some blank paper in your bag, and that's the only thing in your bag this week that you um, absolutely need to make your tree. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that we can make trees. I want you to make your tree however you want it. Um, so to, I have markers and paint and glue, a paintbrush. I have some leftover cotton balls. If you have leftover pom-poms, cotton balls, materials, I've got um, some Q-tips. And then I also went outside and I got some leaves off a plant and some twigs off of another plant. Um, so I, like I said, I'm just gonna show you a few ideas and then um, I wanna see your guys' ideas and see what you come up with. So the first idea I'm gonna show you is gonna be using the natural materials, the stuff that I found outside. So I did grab um, this big, I can't I don't know if you can see the whole thing, this big um, twiggy branch, um, and uh, I'm just gonna break some pieces off of it to make a tree, and or to make the trunk of my tree, I should say. So I'm gonna start with just kind of getting some pieces off of it to make it a little bit more manageable. So here I have the start of it. I'm gonna use my um, liquid glue and a brush to get some glue on it, um, on the spots where at least where it touches the paper. And I'm gonna glue that on like so. You might need hot glue. You might need a parent to help you. Um, Remember, it doesn't have to look any specific way. It's your project. You make it look how you want it to look. And then I'm gonna take some of these pieces, kind of glue them on here like branches. This is kind of like we did a, a fall collage or we did the nightscape. This is kind of a similar idea to that. And then I have do have some leaves. So I can take some leaves and put some glue on them. Glue them on here. There's one. There's two. You can even get some grass or glue it along the bottom here to make it look like your tree is out in the nature. Three leaves, put a fourth leaf up here. Maybe I'll just take this whole twig right here and put some glue on it. So that way I can just glue it on like this. So it's a branch on my tree. There we go. I'm gonna put some glue on this one. I'll put it up here. There. You can do whatever you like, glue whatever you like. You find little flowers. Um, you can, um, put, you know, put, like I said, grass or dirt or sand. Um, you can find pine needles to make a tree. Whatever kind of tree you want, big oak leaves, acorns, whatever you want to make your tree look the way that you want it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown and I'm gonna paint some dirt down here. I'm just gonna kind of dab it on there. We go. Now I have some dirt from a tree and there's my tree. So that's one tree and that's kind of one way and you see like I painted and I put some nature stuff on there. Um, you can do whatever you like. And then um, another way to do it would be um, to paint your hand um, or here, first I'll just paint a trunk. You know, you can just paint a tree trunk or use markers, color crayons or color pencils and you can Give it some branches. And trees are not symmetric or anything like that, so you can just, there we go. So there's kind of a tree, and then maybe 
I'm gonna use a marker to draw some leaves on it. You can also dip your fingers in some green paint and just dot some paint on there. So here's some like little leaves. And then um, I can take, I really love this magenta color. I know I've said it before, it's my favorite. And I'm gonna take a few cotton swabs, see? I take like, up, like three of them and kind of dip them in there. And then I can go like this and make like little blossoms or maybe they're little cherries. Ta-da! That's another way to make a tree. And then one last one, and I like to do the messy ones last. I do have some paper towels here, um, some wet wipes and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna take and paint my hand, and you can see my tattoo down there. Um, I'm gonna try not to, well, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna paint my tattoo. And I'm gonna paint my hand with the brown paint. get some on my tattoo. <laughs> I'm gonna paint my tattoo brown. That feels very, very strange. Okay, and then I'm gonna take and put my handprint in my arm to make a tree. And so I can go like this, give it a little bit more of a trunk. And there's my tree branches. I'm gonna wipe my hand off because it's really hard to do anything with paint all over your hand. Ooh. That paint wasn't cold this time though, so that was good. The last couple times it surprised me with how cold it was. All right, I also have a trash can nice and close by so I can throw all this away. I'll try to get all the paint off of my tattoo. Okay. Okay, and then again, you can now, you know, paint leaves on or draw leaves on, or like if you wanna have like, there, see? So you can do that with green or whatever color you want. Purple, the magenta color, blue. So I'm drawing some leaves around my tree. You could even do like that sort of thing and color it all green. Uh, we can draw little apples. Kind of looks like an apple. Hmm. Or again, you can do like I was doing with the Q-tips. Ta-da! So I want you guys to do your trees however you want, individualize them, make them special. Um, you can have something like this and then glue leaves onto it too. Um, or glue flowers onto it or whatever you like. But I would love to see how your guys' trees turn out. So that's letter T. I'll see you next time.